Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching The Last of Us. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are watching episode five of season one of The Last of Us. The last episode we were introduced to um, a couple new people, um, Kathleen, most notably, and then uh, not by name, <laughs> just by visual, Henry and Sam, I believe. Um, I, mostly one because of the people leaving comments um, that Sam and Henry are in the game, but also Sam had the superhero paint on his face. So I assume that that's who Kathleen is looking for. Now, Kathleen seems to be in charge of this group that is like scavengers that have somehow taken over or defeated Fedra. Um, and they are kind of ruling the QZ area um, or more. It seems like they're expanding out and <laughs> they're going out into the city. And uh, they're kind of taking things from people um, that might venture into their city, uh, notably Ellie and Joel. Um, and that kind of leads us to like have to bring up Brian yet again. Um, there were actually a lot of comments and, and a lot of people like fighting in the comments about whether or not it was the right thing for Joel to do by killing Brian. Now, personally, in this world, in this setting, it's it's almost like it's kill or be killed. And that's the mentality you have to go in with. Um, uh, and there's room for mercy. But I feel like the the, the killing of Brian was almost like justified in the sense that he attacked them, but also Joel knew he really couldn't leave Brian that way, whether it was to recognize them later, um, whether it was that like Brian's life essentially, I feel like was over anyway, no matter if there was a surgeon or a doctor in the camp. Uh, I don't, I don't think Brian's life would have been uh, improved at all by his life being saved. Um, he would have been paralyzed in this world. Even if they got the bleeding stopped, like he can't go anywhere, he can't run, he can't do anything. If he does travel anywhere, it's going to be through a, like, you know, a wheelchair or a vehicle of some sort. And that's not necessarily quiet. And especially wheels on this terrain. I mean, eventually you're going to run over a cordyceps. So ultimately, I think it was the right decision. It was just heartbreaking the way it went down to hear somebody beg for their life and call out for their mother like that just hurt. And I don't think Joel is like a good guy by any means by putting Brian down. Like, let's face it, like he was talking about like he used to be one of those people and like now he's not. But like who's good and who's bad, you know, and again, in this world, it's kill or be killed. I don't think that there's a good or a bad. It's just whoever you want to side with is who you're ultimately going to find is more morally right, I think. Um, but I feel like if you kind of just realize that this is this is the world that they live in and it's really a lot easier to rationalize killing. I really did like that um, Joel talked to Ellie about the gun and showed her how to hold it correctly and how to shoot correctly. I feel like we will be utilizing that in the future, um, maybe even in this next episode. But um, she did not put the gun in her bag. She put it in her uh, coat pocket. And so there's a reason why they showed that. I don't know if she's going to pull it on these kids, but I also think, and I don't know how old Henry is, but Sam is definitely a kid. But I feel like if they wanted uh, Ellie and Joel dead, Ellie and Joel would be dead. Um, I think Ellie definitely heard them. We know Joel has lost a hearing in his right ear and he didn't hear them when they, they walked in. That's incredibly dangerous in this world. I can't imagine like being deaf and like not being able to hear, like even in like the walking dead world, like being able to hear walkers coming upon you, you know, and they, they have deaf characters on the show and it's, it's terrifying. Um, so like the fact that like, you know, you could have like the cordyceps, the, the infected, you could have the, just regular people, people that want to kill you, people that want to raid you, you know, like there's, it's it's not great that he has hearing loss because I feel like that's going to be maybe part of his downfall. And uh, I, I mean, I don't I don't know what happens to Joel, but I feel like that's not good for him. So now that we have Henry and Sam kind of holding them at gunpoint, uh, I don't know what the next move is because you see Sam kind of go. Shh. And I'm sure like they're not. Like bad, bad, like I said, they probably would have killed them if they wanted them dead. Um, but I, I want to know why Kathleen is after them, um, because her being in charge of that, that whole group and like her just like giving the word and searching for Henry and Sam and everyone's going through like 
breaking in doors and like it's like a military operation like she's in charge um but also like for that response like it has to be something big or something bad or maybe even awful but i'm sure we'll find out so let's get into it and by the way i fell asleep and i have this line on my face from my nap and it won't go away so i don't i don't i it is what it is all right Let's get into it. Like, if I don't tell people ahead of time, they'll be like, what's wrong with your face? Okay, yeah, and I forgot that she said that it wasn't her first time hurting somebody. I don't know necessarily what that means, if she's shot somebody before, um, or stabbed somebody, I don't know. She, Ellie seems like there's a little bit of a darkness about her, which I like. Like, I don't mind characters like that, I just the hints at it. I'm, I'm like, give, give me, give me something to chew on here. Oh, this must be when they took down Fedra. Oh. Fucking brutal. Oh, the celebratory killings? I, I, I don't fuck with. I don't fuck with that. Oh, wait, I was... Uh, is, is one of them deaf? Betraying your neighbors to Fedra? Watching us get thrown in prison? Watching us hang. Goodness gracious. How does it make you feel now? Oh, I don't like her. I don't like her one bit. Yeah, we could put you on trial. You're all guilty, so that's how that'll go. <laughs> and you'll do some time. Easy. Where is Henry? Why is he so important? <sighs> I guess they don't know. Kill them. He's with Edel's team. <laughs> really? She was just going to kill them all? Things have gone great, <laughs> haven't you heard? Kansas City is free. Yeah, it doesn't look like freedom, does it? Are we really putting them on trial? No, we are not really putting them on trial. When you're done, burn the bodies, it's faster. So exactly like Fedra. At least if you're gonna do something to establish change, make it better. He's scared because you're scared. I didn't realize at the beginning when I talked about being deaf, like how he can't hear. Super Sam. <laughs> Gotta do some drawings, decorate. Oh, well, I like Sam. Henry seems Awesome so far. Do you need a backstory though? Ten days later. So when Joel and Ellie arrived, it was about ten days after they defeated the QZ or defeated Fedra at the QZ. I just want to know why Henry is so important. He's gonna put a mask on him. Hmm. Super Sam. Oh my god, nothing better happen to Sam. My heart would just shatter. The show has a habit of making you fall in love and then taking them away. See, it'd be terrifying to be deaf, like you couldn't hear any of this going on. You wouldn't know that there's danger outside. We don't want to hurt you. We want to help you. Okay. Okay, um... <laughs> no plan there. That's right. That's a weird fucking tone, man. That's just the way he sounds. He has an asshole voice. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's not wrong. <laughs> Can I sit up? Get up slow. I feel like Joel might still try to do something. Don't hurt that baby, Joel. Don't hurt that baby. You always heard Casey of Pedro with monsters, savages. Yeah, you heard right. Eeh. Raped and tortured and murdered people for 20 years. Okay, then they got what they deserved at the beginning. Now I know where to go. But I don't know how to make it through alive. Mm -hmm. It's just me and Sam. You seem capable enough. You're harmed. And wrong and wrong. I never killed anyone. And pointing an unloaded gun at you is the closest I've ever come to being violent. Oh. So that's the deal. <laughs> the joke book. So how are we getting out? I like that Joel is very pragmatic. He's like, let's 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 get to details. Let's figure this out. We get close, we get caught, no question. So how do we get across? Under. <laughs> I think he's a little bored. Tunnels. Tunnels. Fedja drove them underground 15 years ago and never let them come back up. Floor. You see, what I know is it's empty. You've been down there. I... No, but the Fedra guy that I worked with told me that it's clean. Here. Oh, that's your great plan? No, that's my dicey as fuck plan. <laughs> but as far as I could tell, it's only shot. Yup. You gotta do it, Joel. You don't have a choice. They're saying they're going to help us escape. Oh, well, that's manipulative. Right? But you have to. <laughs> oh, I'm excited to go into the tunnels. I'm not, but I am. Oh, I'm sure there's something nasty down there. <laughs> so far, so clean. It's empty. The plan is good. For right now. We've been down here two seconds. We don't know anything. Yeah. That was kind of a quick celebration on Henry's part. <laughs> Still looking good, though, which means when they do get to wherever they're going, it's going to be bad. <laughs> All the drawings. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's not a fun time. People lived down here? You might want to pick up your gun, Ellie. No way! I love these! Four, five, six, eleven. Oh, look at them bonding. Oh, God, they're going to break my heart. To the edge of the universe. Endure and survive. Endure and survive. You know, I wasn't uh, exactly telling you the truth before. Yep, figured. About me not killing someone. Who did you kill? It was a man, a great man. Sam, he, uh, he got sick. Leukemia. <laughs> there was one drug that worked. And if I wanted some, I was gonna take something big. That's why he collaborated. That one great man. Oh. The leader of the resistance movement in Kansas City. And Catherine's brother. Oh, they gave me a full body chill. So, still think they should take it easy on me? Or am, am I the bad guy? Like I said, there are no bad guys. But you get it, though. You might not be her father, but you were someone's. See, I could tell. <sighs> Doing something bad doesn't make you a bad person. Doing something evil does. What Fedra was doing to all those people, that's evil. He would be horrified by the things I've done. And if you've come to tell me 
that he would want me to forgive. I know that too. Yeah, she already knew that. He told me. He told me to forgive. Can't honor him though, can you? Where is the justice in that? What is the point of that? To not live like this. Your brother was a great man, but he didn't change anything. You did. You did. Yeah. We're with you. Good. Ooh, that was some fine acting in that moment. Gosh, it's very funny. The more you learn about like the characters, about how like you know Henry isn't like that great of a person, but then like she's definitely not that great of a person. But the fact that she's doing this for Michael and that she freed all these people from Fedra, like it's so like, uh, it's, like I said, there's varying degrees of good and bad. But like I don't think that she's evil by any means. Embankment behind the last house, and we're out. Not that easy. So we cross the river and then what? I don't know yet. Well, we're going to Wyoming. Oh, it's a huge state. It can fit two more people. <laughs> yeah. Hot Joel. This is how it goes. He's like, no, that way, never, ever, ever happening. And then I'm like, I'm gonna ask you a million more times, and he's like, Oh what? God. Jesus! Go. Go. What are you doing? Get the f out of here! Oh, You're wasting so much ammo with your shitty aim. Oh, hey, buddy. Yeah. What was the point of him shooting at them? Oh. Run! Go, 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 go. Why did they wait until like the last second to start running away? How many times does Joel have to yell run? Ellie. You're wasting bullets shooting at a truck, Ellie. Oh. Get, go, 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 go. Oh. But did you ever stop to think that maybe he was supposed to die? He's just a fucking kid. Well, kids die, Henry. So do brothers. Jesus. She seems to think Michael's way more important, huh? I don't want anything to happen to him, but I, I know for a fact he's probably gonna die. It ends the way it ends. Oh. Is that like the sinkhole thing that they were looking at? Worst enemy, worst enemy, wor or just worst nightmare, worst nightmare. Just, oh my God. I don't know why I was saying worst enemy. Like definitely just like the absolute worst fucking nightmare ever. Allie! <gasps> what the f is that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Run. Cover. Run. I don't want him to die. He's like the cool one out of the group. Oh.
Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Come on, Joel. Come on, Joel. You have to save them. You have to help good people. He's helping good people. Oh! Chevy for the win. Oh! God! Fucking intense! What the fuck is one of those big ones? That thing was insane. I ain't mad. I ain't mad. I ain't mad. It's nice to see Ellie not intrigued, but horrified by it. What is that big one? Oh my god, they're still coming up! Oh, Kansas City is done. Kansas City is done. That was f***ed up. That was so f***ed up. That was awesome, but so f***ed up. What's that comic book say? Endure and survive? Endure and survive. That's just redundant. Yeah, it's, it's not great. <laughs> Look, I don't know exactly how I'm getting to Wyoming. I'm probably walking. You know, if you want to. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think it'd be nice for Sam to have a friend. And I really like Henry and Sam. I'm glad she has a friend. I'm glad Sam has a friend. Do I not look scared? <laughs> He's got the cutest little face. He's like, whatever. I'm scared all the time. <laughs> Scorpions. <laughs> She's just trying to lighten the mood. Wow. Wow. That's... I don't think Sam's immune like she is. Medicine. Don't tell him that. Mm. I don't think this is gonna work. Henry? Henry, give me the gun. What did I do? Give me the gun, Henry. Give me the gun. God, he's not gonna... Henry, no! No! <laughs> Me fall in love with them and then take them away. <laughs> Did she write something on it? Phenomenal. Bloater? Is that what that big thing was called? I've heard somebody, um, or I've seen that in the comments. Um, I didn't, I, oh, ugh. 
Wow, that was stressful and wonderful because Henry and Sam are, I mean, Sam is just wonderful, you know, and, and Henry, by his own admission, has done bad things. That doesn't necessarily make him a bad guy. Um, just when you start to get, like, any semblance of hope or, like, happiness or, like, Okay, now now we can be a clan of four instead of a clan of two, you know. Um, the fact that Sam survived, like, being ill and Henry was able to get him the medication, even though he had to turn in Michael, who seemed to be this great leader of this revolution. But um, I, 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 it seems like Kathleen was the one that actually, you know, brought justice and um, freed the people of Kansas City from Fedra. Now, at the beginning, I was like, Jesus, this is so cruel. They're torturing them and they're celebrating. And then learning about what they were and what they were doing, uh, not so much of a empathetic heart do I have for the Fedra people. Um, I, I was a little irritated that Kathleen thinks that it's okay for her to kill all these people that were, you know, uh, either... Uh, giving information that were that were rats to Fedra, which of course being rats to that Fedra seemed like it was quite horrible. Um but like that it was okay like killing all of these people in order to get her revenge for Michael being killed, but it wasn't okay for Henry to turn in one person to get medication for Sam. You know, that's the thing, is like I was saying, like there's not really bad people in this world. I mean there's not I mean, there are probably people that are good at heart and try to do the best thing possible. But for the most part, the world that we live in, we have to do horrible things to survive this world that we live in. Um, and and it's whether or not you can rationalize it and, and it makes sense. And now I feel like Kathleen was taking more of a pragmatic approach, which is also kind of like what Joel does. Um, to where, you know, uh, Henry was making uh, an emotional decision to, you know, save his brother's life. And again, like what I said about like doctors being able to save people and for the quality of their life after they've been saved, whether or not Brian could have gotten the bleeding stop, was his quality of life going to be better than, you know, what, what, what it was? No. And um, it seemed like Sam like survived. And it was leukemia, I think, like, like that's something that could be, you know, problem in the future. Like that's something that might come back. Um, it, it definitely is um, sad that he survived it and then, you know, ended up getting infected. And Ellie, like thinking that her blood is the medicine, like something in her blood might be medicine, but like her blood itself isn't. And, you know, she was very hopeful in that moment that like she could fix it and change it. And that's why she said, you know, I'm sorry. It's because she, she couldn't help him. Oh, it was so devastating. It's sad because a lot of beautiful people end up being killed, whether it's Michael or whether it's Sam, like they end up dying in this world. And uh, a lot of times the people that endure and survive, um, aren't the best, but they're survivors because they're willing to do what it takes to survive. Like Joel. This was the first time that, like, I actually, like, really liked Ellie. Like, I genuinely, like, like her, but, like, I'm, I'm, like, something's dark, something's off about her. And seeing how she was with Sam and, like, how, like, she's able to, like, just be a kid again and she was lighter and seeing how she was terrified of the clicker and, and, like, of everything that she was seeing. And, like, even when Kathleen was attacked, like, she was watching in horror as that went down rather than, like, the weird Ellie that we'd seen where she, like, lingers. And it's not like she's horrified. It's like she's intrigued. Like, she's like, that's really interesting the way that's going down instead of being afraid. And this was, like, the first time that we really saw her be, like, very afraid. Uh, I mean, that sight of everybody, of all those things coming up out of the ground with the speed, like I was like, worst enemy, worst enemy, because it, it's like, like literally, like I, they would 100% be the thing that scares me the most. It's my worst nightmare. Like at 28 days later, like those, those infected running at you at high fucking speed, like that's terrifying. Um, and, and like this worst nightmare. Oh my God. And then I guess the big guy that came out was a bloater and the slow motion that they had on, um, mm, I don't know if I ever get his name, but 
Greybeard. I really liked him and I, I a little bit of a crush on him, but also like it seemed like he like also had kind of like, I don't know, like a, a, an empathetic heart, but kind of like also a, a pragmatist at the same time. I feel like when you can balance both, that's fantastic. Um, but like the look on his face when he sees it is just like, I'm done. <laughs> Got his head removed. That is something. And now like... The, the the people that are now free in Kansas City are going to be annihilated. Wow. That scene was fucking fantastic. It's like terrifying and I don't want to watch it. But at the same time, I'm like, this is delicious. Give me more. <laughs> wow. Wow. I don't ever want to see that again. <laughs> Unless it's attacking a group that's trying to kill Ellie and Joel. Then I'm like, eh, okay. Round two, why not? But um, the, the when the, the the floor was like lifting up in the last episode, I was kind of like wondering, like I was just like, is there like a infestation of cordyceps that are like growing and they're gonna bloom through a building? Apparently, it was that which they were worried about running into in the tunnels. Well, Joel was really worried about running into those things in the tunnels, but it seems like uh, they are. Uh, capped off in certain areas, so it's on the outskirts of the city. <laughs> That's fucking gnarly. And the young clicker, the little girl clicker that like crawled through the truck and then was like doing like flips, like trying to get to Ellie. Can I just say that like the body acting that that little girl did to, to like really sell the fact that it's like like it was on a mission to get to Ellie, but like it wasn't like a clear cut, like I'm crawling to get you. It was like, any way I can, I'm going to get you. And like flipping up, like it just fantastic work. <laughs> oh man. Now, I mean, uh, here's the thing. It's just like, uh, it, they're uh, in my heart of hearts. Now I'm like, they're going to get to Tommy. And then that episode, Tommy's going to die. Like they're they're finally gonna find Tommy. We're gonna get the reunion. They're gonna have like a couple like you know moments of like yay bro and like celebrating being back with each other. And then like I don't know, bloater is gonna pop up out of the ground and and, and it, it mated with a clicker and like their baby is like what takes out Tommy. I don't know, I don't know. But like like there's no happiness or joy that is it has longevity in this world. Amazing though, amazing. Not sad to see Kathleen go, but like I feel like had she gone on, uh, she she was like she's very like ready to just pull the trigger. And her talking about the difference between her and Michael and how like he would have asked for forgiveness and like really said like let him go and, and forgive him and how she's like yeah that's not me. I love that she knew her identity in this world. Um and and like again she's the person that will endure and survive. Not for long. Not against a clicker. <laughs> it's so dark and awful. I love it. But I'm, I am very sad about Sam and, and Henry and the way that that had to go down. That, you know, they survived that long. Well, actually, they didn't survive that long. If they were in a QZ and under federal control for 20 years and it was like day 12 or 13 of freedom from Fedra and uh, they didn't make it very long. <laughs> Not that Fedra like was good by any means, but at least like they kept like the, the clickers and whatnot at bay. Yikes. Yikes. How does a bloater become a bloater? What? Just the name bloater all in itself is just skeeves, total skeeves. Okay, guys, if you want to watch the full-length reaction to this episode, it will be available on my Patreon, as well as full-length episodes to other shows that I'm watching, like The Expanse. I just started Severance. That episode is now available on my Patreon. I'm enjoying that show immensely. Uh, but also Vox Machina, which uh, this is the last uh, weekend for all the new episodes. I'm very sad, but very excited, and a lot's happening in those reactions. Go check out the full-length ones on my Patreon. In the meantime, like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Like, can, okay, <laughs> I don't know how bloaters are made. If it's not a spoiler, let me know. Um, I don't know. Can infected mate with other infected? Like, can cordyceps, like, like, can, like, is there interspecies locking that can create something worse? 
And it's really interesting at the beginning of the episode that I said that it would be horrible to be deaf in this world. And then Sam ends up being deaf. Uh, I, I, I don't know what would be worse, deaf or blind, or even somebody who is in a wheelchair and can't run away. Like if you, <laughs> if, if, I, I don't want to be like, if you could pick, but like, which one do you think would actually be more horrifying? I feel like deaf, you wouldn't be able to hear somebody coming. So sometimes you wouldn't even know that it's happening until it's done. Um, being blind, you can't see them, but you can hear them. So I think you would constantly just be like on high alert. And I feel like being able to see and hear them, but not get away is rough. Wow. Wow. Look at me trying to think of like, what would be worse? You know, it'd be worse living in that world, period. <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm super excited for next week's episode. Um, I know we have to wait a little bit longer because of this one coming out early because of the Super Bowl. Um, I'm fine with it. I wish they all came out on Friday nights instead of Sundays because I have to work at 7 a.m. on Monday morning and I don't have to. I get to sleep in tomorrow. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm, I, I really like the show. I really don't like that they make me fall in love and then, you know, hurt my feelings. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm broken at the end, which uh, leads me to believe I would not survive this world. And I'll leave you guys with that. <laughs> I'll see ya.